Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day. How are you feeling? See, the energy really likes to mess with us on this show. It's so funny. Um, They think they know when to start and we don't, or they just want to mess up with the energy and see how we'll handle it. We all handle it with no worries whatsoever. So, hey, welcome to the energy. I told you it was strong today, and I'm vibrating now that I just said that, and I have the goosebumps from head to toe. So welcome, everybody. I'm so glad it's Wednesday and I could be back here with you today and answering any questions that you might call in about. I'm open to anything and everything. Um, there's no judgment here, but, you know, keep it cool. Um, there's a, The energy of the full moon is starting to build up, too. Um, so we're starting to feel that. So within this week, it's about finding where your balance is. Um, you have so much balance that you don't even know. We Sometimes we're so out of balance. There's so much going on, and it's happening all very quickly now. So it's like when you know that you're going too fast, remember your body's still telling you you need to rest. You still need to get your sleep. So listen to your body. Even though your mind is telling you you have all this energy and you can keep going, 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 allow yourself to find that balance and find that rest. I found that I've had to do that this week myself. I'm always go, 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 go. And then I'm like, oh, I'm really tired. So, you know, find your balance and everything will just kind of like fall into place for you. Because if you wear yourself down, if you use up too much of your energy, then it's like, you just get tired and then you can't do anything and you can't do the things that you still enjoy. So find your peace with your balance and whatever that might be. So I'm still looking forward to your calls today and I already have some on the line. So it must be a busy day there energy wise. And I'm looking forward to connecting with each and every one of you. Um, And let's see, I think I'll start now. I'll take area code number nine zero eight. Good morning, Melissa. This is Caroline. Hi, Caroline. How can I help you today? Well, I would love, if possible, uh, to hear from one of my loved ones or anything coming up with career-wise in May. (laughs) Uh, In May. Okay. Let me tap into your energy. Can you just say your name again so I can get into your energy? Caroline. All right, Caroline. Okay. All right. Well, oh, well, all right. So since you asked for past loved ones first, they're going to go there first. I'm not sure who this is, but they just stepped in on my left. Um, let's see if they'll tell me who they are. Ooh, oh, okay. So I feel like this is like a grandmother figure. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Do you have grandmother in spirit? Yes. I asked for okay. her to come. <laughs> Oh, well, then this is why she's here, because and she's lighting up my left side. So um, she's trying to help lead you into the future. So some of the advice that she's given you in the past, you need to listen to that again. It's like the, there's some of the things that she said really played with you, and she really wants you to go back in your mind and listen to those again to help yourself move forward. And she says that you're also keeping yourself too small. Um, you've always played that game a little bit, and she wants you to kind of like come out of the box a little bit and not be so in the box, so to speak, next to come out. Um, so now it's like, Okay, she's like moving things out of the way. That energy is like moving things out of the way. So your energy, she's energetically helping you. (laughs) 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 So do you have a specific question for your grandmother? Um, Which grandmother is this first? Is it um, my maternal grandma or my paternal grandma? Because I love them. Paternal. Maternal? Oh, paternal. paternal. Oh, paternal. She just yes. comes every time. And, you know, I never yep. met her, so it's beautiful. <laughs> but I, I wanted to know financial-wise, I have um, – I want to do certain things and um, professionally. And I just – you know, I have something I want to do in my head, but I'd like to know if uh, this plan, this business plan that I have – if it's coming to fruition, and I really, uh, I, I desire to come in, in May. That's why I said the month of May. Okay. Well, what they just showed me is when you say that you desire it, that's uh, something that you also have to believe in. If you want it to happen in May, 
you're the only one that can make it happen in May. So you're going, all right, this is happening. This is what I want to happen. That's how you manifest what you want. You don't leave it up to me to tell you that it's going to happen in May or the spirits and the guides. You just go, all right, I need this to happen in May. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like you're setting yourself up for, and they're showing me it's a really good business plan. So you just have to get the wheels in motion now. It's like, just get it in motion. All you have to do is. I, I do have it. I have it in motion. Okay, perfect. And I just, I just wonder if I'm doing something wrong, why it doesn't happen yet, you know. I understand the, all the concepts, you know. Uh, I'm very spiritual. Yeah, we're, only, but, we're only halfway through May, too. So you've given yourself till May, so you've given yourself another two weeks. So just know that you're yeah. setting it up to, for it to happen in May for yourself. And I see yourself going to yeah. be financially well off, so it's going to take off for you. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you, Melissa. I love your yeah. voice and your spirit. You're very exciting. You know, you're filled oh, with thank light. You. I'm so, oh, thank you. I'm so happy you to hear that. Just thank you. you. You bring us awesome. life. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy, I'm enjoy. You well, thank you. thank you. That's awesome. I love compliments. I don't never, you know, compliments are good. They're help for validation because when I got, you know, when I was going to do all this, you know, there's always self-doubt. I'm still dealing with that from last week. Um, so we're getting over a lot of our self-doubt, and I need to learn to take, you know, um, compliments as well as I do criticism. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you that log in and listen, whether it's online, you find it later. Um, this is all to help empower you. Um, I was thinking about this this morning. Of course, all my messages like to come to me while I'm taking a shower, you know, when we're thinking about nothing but trying to get clean. They're like, you know, this is helping all of you to find your powers and to move forward in your joy. So it's just an amazing thing that I'm a part of, that I get to be of service of. This is part of my service, is servicing for you to help all of you. It just makes me feel so good. It warms my heart, and they're giving me goosebumps as I tell you that. So you know that's when you're talking your truth, when you start to feel that. All right, so now I'm ready for number caller number two, and that area code is 858. Hi, uh, Melissa. Thank you for taking my phone call. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Um, actually, I'm asking on behalf of my, my daughter. She asked me to ask about the person that she's interested. Is this okay to ask? Is it a what? My daughter asked me to ask for her. Is this okay, okay. to ask? Yes, it is okay to ask. Okay. Uh, there is a person that she used to work together, and uh, she's going to see him on a party in a couple of weeks. Uh, and she was wondering if something romantical will develop out of this with him. Okay, let me tap into that for a second. Can I just have your daughter's name? Ilana. Ilana. Okay, so what I'm getting is not right away. I feel like it's a friendship that builds into something. So it's not like romantic right away, but it's good. They get together, they catch up, and they start dating. Um, and that's what she's looking for. She's looking for someone to start dating and being part of her life. Um, so this is a good guy. I feel like he's like um, he's not a player, so that's a good sign. Um, but he's very slow about things. So tell her not to be rushful you know what I mean because I feel like your daughter wants to rush and he's not in a rush if that makes sense it does but it's been like um three months that they met on the other job and then he, about a month after he left the other job so things were, were not developing much and she says that they even didn't see each other after he left the job so right. after this party it will be the same again huh well it's coming together at this party, which is outside of work, which builds their friendship more because they had built that friendship with inside of work, but outside mm -hmm. of work, they didn't have anything. So this gives them an area of outside of work to let things go a little further. Mm -hmm. So you think after this party, how long it will take until they start dating? Well, I think they might start dating after this, this, this party. You know what I mean? They'll plan their next date after that. So this is just like the beginning. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate that. Um, so I hope your daughter finds that love that she's looking for. Oh, my gosh. Um, too funny. Um, uh, <laughs> So, yeah, there's lots of things going on. People are looking for information out there, um, all that good stuff. So I'm going to take my next caller, which is caller from area code 705. Hi there. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, and your name is? is um, call- Sorry? Your name? Say F-A-Y. Okay, Faye, what's your question for me today? My question is, my husband's brother, which is my brother-in-law, um, his wife, I'm calling to ask questions about her. I wanted to know the kind of energy you get from my brother-in-law's wife, the kind of person she is, and if you see them staying together or separating in the future. Huh. That seems to be like questions about other people um, today, which is kind of interesting because let me just point out before I answer your question, I just want to talk about everyone has their own journey. We do not always have to step into other people's journey and find out why they're in a relationship with whoever they're in a relationship with or have to understand it because they all have lessons that they have to learn by being in the relationship that they're in, whether they end up getting married or whatever. You know what I mean? So I feel that I don't need to, I'm not going to step into um, your brother-in-law's or your sister-in-law's energy um, because that's part of their journey. And they're telling me that really it's none of your business at this point. So I'm not even going to touch that. But if you have a question about yourself, they would be more than happy to answer that for you. Okay, well, maybe she went bye-bye. Okay, sorry about that, Faye. Sometimes it's just not um, just not right for us to get into some other people's energy that we don't belong in. There's lessons that need to be learned on both sides and for everybody. Um, so, you know, what is it going on with you and your world? I talk about this, and I talk about that little protection bubble that I put up, you know, like Glenda the Good Witch and the Wizard of Oz. What's happening in your world? What's going on in your world that you can change? You can't really change what else is going on in someone else's world. It's about you taking control of what you have going on in yours and making yourself happy. And then people around you start to learn from what you have going on. You know, so it's like open yourself up, allow yourself to start making your changes to make yourself happy, and then other people can also, you know, connect in and start changing things for themselves too. But I do ta- I do want to say that I appreciate you all come lolling in with all these lovely questions because it really gives us a chance to think about how things work in our lives and how things should be working in our lives and where the happiness comes from. So awesome. So well, as we carry on, I will take my next caller at area code 614. Hello. Um, my name is Filson, and my question is um, if I have any loved ones that want to say anything to me or also. Okay. And your name again was? Filson. Filson? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me tap into that for you. Okay. So you're looking for a past loved one. Let's see. Boy, um, you have a whole bunch that show up. Is there anyone in particular that you'd like to talk to? Um, Because it seems like you're very active with the other side. You already communicate with a lot of these people, whether it's in your dreams or even when you're awake. Um, I feel like you're communicating with them already and they're actually coming together as a group right now to talk to you as a collective and be like, you are strong. They're helping you move forward. They're also showing me you have this new, um, it's so funny because it's like they're showing me a double door. So it's, and it swings out. Um, so it's like, they're showing me they're ready for you to step out into your light because I see light beyond past these two doors. Um, and they're also showing me there's lots of love coming to you and lots of love coming from you to them. And that connection is only becoming stronger. Um, and they're showing me that you're going to start tapping in and using your, your, um, 
your abilities more so that you're able to stay in contact with them more often and you're also going to start helping other people. Ooh, I hope you got all that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, helping other people using um, like mediumship abilities? Yeah. Okay. And do you have any um, um, feelings about the current job that I'm in or what I should be doing career-wise? Um, well, career-wise, you're not happy with where you're at, so it's time for you to look beyond where you are and what is it that you would like to be doing. Because, again, beyond those two double doors that they kicked open are all the possibilities. Um, so you just have to go walk through that door to see where it takes you. Okay. But energetically, you're ready to start uh, rocking and rolling. Okay. Because you've sat Thank idle you. for too long, they said. You're welcome. <laughs> Huh, awesome. Enjoy your day. Thank you for calling in today. Awesome, people. This is awesome. I love the energy that's coming through when I even talk to you guys on the phone where I can hear your voice and the energy is just flowing through. It's so peaceful for me and it just feels so nice. And the energy has calmed down a little bit. I don't feel like I'm as vibrating as high. It's calmed down because we're all connected now. I think it's like I get this total upcharge or spike in energy. So, you know, I'm prepared for what I'm doing. They like to keep me straight and narrow on, on this energy stuff. And it's so much fun. I enjoy every bit of it. And I enjoy talking to every one of you. And just so you know, when you're not finding me on this radio station here on Wednesdays, you can find me in Sarasota, Florida. And you can find my website at IamMelissaParks.com, and you can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250 to set an appointment. So I am ready to move on to my next caller, which is coming from area code 415. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. so I, I've been really good. Um, you were talking to one of the first ladies about creating your life, like just deciding and then going for it. And I've been really on this kick of, of like just affirming very positive things and clearing out those negative thoughts. I've been doing this for a long time. But yesterday um, afternoon, some like sort of sadness came over me and it's still around today and I can't st- seem to like – get rid of it and I just feel really kind of upset and sort of depressed about my career and money and like all this it's like the old side of me and just anything you're able to pick up with that I mean I I know it's related to um I was putting a lot of my energy with doing a lot of posts on Facebook and then it dawned on me yesterday on how this relationship um of me like giving 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 is like very unbalanced and that's a pattern for me, and I'm just stopping that. So um, sort of in this space of unknown now of, okay, well, how do we move forward with my business now and making money? Okay. <laughs> okay, so first let's address the sadness that you mentioned that popped up yesterday. Um, I actually, before I walked in here to have my show, I talked to my astrologist out there in the end of the room. And apparently with the the full moon going into Scorpio, apparently that has a lot of our emotions attached to it. And we're very sad about things. I've been sad since Saturday. So it's okay for us to cry. This is all the old stuff that we're not taking with us past this full moon. So if it's all the old stuff, you know, of where we've been, who we've been with, or who we were, and we're not taking any of that forward. So it's fine funny that she just gave me that message before I just walked in here so I'd have that valuable information for you. Yeah, thank you for um, that because I was saying to myself, I've been telling myself since yesterday, so you're really sensitive to astrology. You always find out later that this is an astrological thing that you're picking up. Just don't get connected, to, like just let it be. So thank you because that's affirming that for me. Okay, so that means you need to look into astrology a little bit more, too. So, And me, too, because it's helpful. You know what I mean? When we start to feel a little funny, well, what are the planets going into? What are they feeling right now, you know? And then she just told me one of the other planets or whatever it is went into cancer, and there's all our sadness right there. That's all our emotions, you know what I mean? So if you feel like you need to just sit down and have a good snotty cry, cry all day. Get whatever's left in there out because we suppress so much of it. Um, because we're strong women, you know what I mean? And we have to keep moving forward. So we don't always have time to deal with whatever made us sad, angry, whatever. And we just bury it inside of us. So just have a good cry and let's let it all go before the full moon comes here on Saturday. (laughs) 
Mm, okay. That's good. I'll do that. And, and, and then as far as your business, you're, whatever you're putting out for your business, you will get back tenfold. So if all these posts that you're putting out have to do with your business, it will come back to you. Um, you're, you we never get paid back right away. So when we're of service, we're of service in many ways. So it's partly your ego saying you're not making enough money for doing that or whatever. You can kind of let that go, too, and just know that everything that you have coming to you will come at the right time. But this is also a lesson. Are you still going to fear lack of? Are you still going to hold on to those um, emotions of not having enough or not making enough or whatever it might be? Uh, it's I can't seem to get past it because it this has come around so many times. And I'm questioning again, do I want to continue? I mean, how do you know that I'm not just maybe giving too much, you know, and I should hold myself back of like not posting as much, you know, which I don't think is necessarily like a bad thing, but. um, Well, what's your business? Do you mind if I ask what your business is? Oh, I don't really want to go into it so much, but it's related to what you do. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Well, then, yeah, here's the thing. You have to – sometimes we have to give away to get back, okay? So don't feel like that you're giving out too much. Just make it only what you want to give and don't give too much. If it feels like you need to keep giving, then keep giving. But I also feel like you've got a little wall up for you – um, I'm not sure what this wall is. It's not even a wall. It's more of a hurdle. Um, so it's like just jump over that hurdle and just get out of your own way for whatever reason and rethink things. They want you to reevaluate some things um, and see how you really feel about it. Um, you're purging a lot of stuff, like the old you. Even I am yeah. still. You know what? I think we all are going into this full move. We are purging our old self. We feel different every day, but can't mm-hmm. explain it. Yeah. Right? So it's like in our human brain thinks it knows everything. So tap into the soul self, which is in our heart center, and go, how do I feel about this? Should I continue to keep doing this? Does it make my heart, you know, feel good? Am I following my joy by doing that? Yeah, that's the stuff I've been asking since yesterday because I, and I also think it's sort of repeating a pattern of, also that unbalanced relationship, something is sorting out because I think I'm enjoying it. You know, I keep getting inspirations and I keep posting and well, that's because I, I'm programming my mind to think of inspirations to write. But then I, I was saying, do I really want to be posting as much as I do? Is this sustainable? Like, do I need to, po-? you know, like, and I'm like sort of maybe, well, I I don't know because my money hasn't directly come from the Facebook post. It comes from people who just randomly find me and just sign up, but they find me through other avenues. Although I know it's all connected. I'm not like totally convinced that me pouring all this energy into Facebook is like, I don't know, just logically like that. You're saying that that ego mind is like, I don't know if this really makes sense. You're spending so much time on Facebook. What's the point? What are you getting back from it? Right, right. Um, So here's the thing. If you already know that people are finding you energetically and they're not finding you by their posts, then that's how they're going to continue to find you. But it's those inspirational posts that you're putting out there to the people that don't respond, that are hurting by something or need inspiration, that you're helping. So it's like you're helping the unheard. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I'll get into a posting frenzy and I post all day long and I'm like, you know, it has nothing to do with me, but I know whoever's going to see that is going to need to see that. You know what I mean? So you don't have to spend as much time. But then there's days I don't post anything at all. I mean, I could go months without posting anything on my business page. You know, I do a little bit more now, but not every day. Not everyone wants to see it. If they want to see it, it will pop up in front of them just when it's supposed to. We have no control. Once we hit the little enter button and it goes out there, you know, it shows up exactly where it needs to. I could open up my Facebook right now, and it probably open up to a post that I need to see right now. It happens to every one of us. I talked about ladybugs one yeah. day, and all of a sudden, my friend, you know, found a ladybug, and then another one found a ladybug. So there's synchronicity in all that we're doing, and it doesn't always make sense why we do it. But are you just able to separate it as far as, like, I am for most of the time as far as, like, not taking it personally if, like, people don't like or comment or share or if I'm asking them to, like, sign up for something or, like, 
it gets to a point that I just start to get offended that it's like, what are you guys giving back to me? And it's like, not, not much from what I'm giving out. All right. Well then stop giving out so much. You find balance in it. Find balance in that. If you feel like you're giving out too much, just stop for a little bit and see what comes back. Yeah. But I feel like things are going to start to pick up because I feel like energetically you've turned your volume up to high so you're vibrating a little bit higher, so you're allowing the people to find you. It's just like when I sit here at Wild Ginger sometimes, I don't know if I'm going to have clients or not, but I know that they're going to feel my energy, and if they just walk in and go, oh, maybe I'll try a reading, they just sign up. You know what I mean? Um, so you just have to have faith that the people are going to come to you exactly when they're going to, and don't have any, well, I have to see five people today, or, you know, I don't have any restrictions anymore. I go, the people that need to see me are going to find me, and then they're going to be my clients. Whether one time, 20 times, it doesn't matter. But energetically, you have to be open to allowing the flow into you. I know. I, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I, know, right. I know that. And I'm, like, so open to it. And then I get, like, sort of upset or angry if it doesn't happen in, a, like, if a couple of weeks you go by. Have, and then it's, You yeah, can't have expectations it's... either because if you do – and if you're holding on to fear in any way, shape, or form attached to that, you're going to be holding it like the donkey holding the carrot out in front of them. You can see it, but you'll never catch it. So you have to let go of the fear that's attached to it. And then things I start to flow more. More of that work. Yeah, because obviously there's still some fear there. So, yeah, uh... a little bit. But I get that you're <laughs> actually climbing a ladder because they showed me a ladder. So you just keep climbing that ladder. You're going to get exactly where you need to be. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. It's just like sort of like keep going, keep going, keep clearing this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So, and that's what we're yeah. all right now. Anybody that's a light worker right now, we are clearing things from this lifetime, past lifetimes, four days ago, you name it, we are clearing it right now. So allow, allow, allow yourself to clear it and be your highest and best self that you could be today. Yeah. So I thank Amen. you for calling in. It thank you very much. I look forward to talking to you. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. How awesome is that? You know, it's like we all are trying to go through similar things. They're all kind of the same but different. You know, we might still have some fears that are hanging out that we need to get rid of or, you know, our, we don't feel worthy or we still doubt ourselves. Oh, we have to kick all that stuff to the curb. We don't need that stuff in our lives anymore, not at all. It's about us expanding and being our best selves and really creating that future that we really want to have. And fear can't be in it. Fear has kept us from creating that. So now we're getting to create outside of fear and making all that happiness stuff. (coughs) Excuse me. And now we're going to move on to caller number six. Look at that. It's a 941 number. Area code 941. Hi. Hi. I have a question. Hi, I have a question. Uh, I'm looking sure. for a new office, and I need to also get out of my lease, which I think I won't have too much problems. Do you see me finding a new office soon? Hmm, a new office soon. Can I just have your first name? Carla. Carla. All right, Carla. Let's see. You are going to find a new office soon. And for some reason, I feel like you can get out of your lease because I feel like something happens that actually breaks your lease on the landlord's part. Um, So make sure you have documentation of everything or whatever. Um, And about finding the new space, it's like you really need to find where your heart is really settled in. It's not just the space that you can afford, but it's the space that you desire. What does it look like? Are you going to incorporate that into your, you know, in your mind? Because they show me you're creating. They show me all this. It's so funny because they just showed me all this dust getting picked up and being spun around and being being ready to be created into this um, beautiful space that you're trying to create for yourself. So, yes, I feel like you are going to find it, and I feel like it's within 10 miles of where you live. Okay. If that's helpful. Okay. And is it how do you know a time link by any chance? Um, I feel like it's next month because I feel like you're still in transition, so I feel like you'll find it like June. Okay. Will I be out of that office before I find it? 
they said it'll be like transitional. You'll be leaving that office when you move into the new office. So it's like you don't pick up all your stuff and move it twice. You move it once. They want to make it as oh. easy as possible. So it's like an easy transition. Okay. Okay. And how does she break her my lease? Do you know? Um, I feel like there's something that's going on in the office that needs to be looked at. Like there's something – I feel like it has to do with wiring, which I don't know what that has to do with, but something doesn't work right. Like either switches don't turn on, don't turn off, and it's something that she said she'd fix that she never fixed. There's something along that line. I feel like it's maintenance issues. Well, I think I know what it is, and I already have things documented. Could it be something else that uh, happened? Oh, yeah, it could definitely be something else. It's definitely something on the landlord's part. Whether she goes yeah. into the building when you're not there, she does something unethical. <laughs> That's what I keep yeah. getting, unethical. So, yeah, okay. you'll be, be able to get yeah. out of it. Yeah, because I have a no compete, and I think she's bringing somebody in of, like, what I do. So I'm not sure well, if then, that's then, then that, that would be totally breaking your lease right there. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're welcome, and thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You have a great day, Carla. How much fun is that? There's lots of things going on in the world. The energy is still kicking. How are you all feeling out there? Are you Have you guys been on the emotional roller coaster of purging our emotions, letting go of what no longer serves us, about standing in our power and just being who we need to be, um, and actually liking ourselves and our own skin? That's still hard for us, but we're getting better and better at it every day. I'm so proud of everybody. I'm so proud of all of you for stepping in your power and starting to really understand what your real truths are, what it is that you truly desire to have in your life, and letting go of the things that you don't desire, letting go of those jobs, those people, anything that would be negative, you know, that just doesn't need to be in your life anymore. It's releasing, it's allowing, it's creating. There's so much beautiful joy being done by that. You know, it's like you guys are all like, it's every one of us is on a journey. You know what I mean? And I, I'm going to go back to this because this came up in the beginning a little bit before I take my next caller, but it's about us worrying about what's going on in our journey, not what's going on in anyone else's journey. Yes, we can give great advice, but they still have choices they have to make. They chose to be in that situation for a reason. You know, even with our own kids, we have to give up some of the control with them too and let them make their own choices. These are choices. You know, we can direct them as much as possible, but it's still everybody has, their own decisions they have to make and we cannot make them for somebody else as much as we would love to take the reins to their life read them to the water and teach them how to drink it we can't you know we can tell them where the water is we can lead it to them but we can't make them drink it so it's what everyone needs to learn in this lifetime and it's about learning everything that's going on around us it's a beautiful thing once we realize that and realize that we're not that takes a lot of the weight off my shoulders when I know I'm not responsible for everybody else, you know, even though as a medium sometimes or psychic, sometimes I feel like I am, I feel like I should be able to do more work than I do, but it's not my, all my responsibility. This is why we're all working together to make this planet a much better place to live in and to help each other learn our lessons in a much better place without judgment. It's an amazing, amazing thing. And we're all part of this exciting journey. All right, I'm ready for my next caller at area code 201. Hello. Hi there, and you are? I'm Rose, and I'm wondering if you if you see a new love relationship coming. Hey, Rose. Let me tap into your energy for a minute and see. Are you in a relationship right now? No, I'm not. Okay, just check in. Because I feel like it's that close. Um, I feel like you're opening up. I feel like there's somebody right around the corner from you. So I don't feel like it's that far out time-wise. Um, I feel like you're finally opening up to the right love that you would like to have in your life, which is helpful in finding that right partnership because you don't want to settle anymore. Um, so I feel like it's coming very soon for you, Rose. Wonderful. Do you see uh, being a committed relationship, marriage? Uh, do you see me moving? You know, all things that come with a new relationship. 
Okay. Well, when the new relationship comes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be slow. So you're not going to move right away. You guys are going to build this relationship very slowly. You're both going to have two separate places. And then I feel like you're going to get into a committed relationship. I feel like both of you have a fear of marriage for some reason. Maybe it happened before and it didn't work out very well. But I feel like it's more of a committed relationship. And there may be marriage later on, but that's not right away. It's not high ass priority. It's about being happy. It's about whatever you're looking to do. And and yes, I do see moving. Um, wherever you live right now, you will be moving from that spot. Um, so you have a lot of change coming up, and you're also starting to create exactly what it is that you would like to bring in, like the right person to have that relationship with. And then, you know, because, yeah, that's what they're showing. How's that feel to you? That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, Rose. You too. That's awesome. Bye. Bye-bye. So, you know, everybody, if you're out there looking for love, I suggest you get out your little pads of paper and start writing down what that perfect love looks like to you. Whether it's male, female, whatever it is you're looking for, put it on that piece of paper so that you don't short yourself this time. You know, sometimes we get so anxious that we jump into relationships that are not right for us. And I don't feel like a lot of you are going to do that now because we, that's one of our repeated patterns that we all seem to be changing. But it's about us, you know, what do we really want? What do we really want to have in our lives? What are we really compatible with, you know? And it's about opening ourselves up to that, which is a whole lot of fun. And then that's starting, you know, for you able to actually start creating those relationships that you want to have, whether they're with your friends Love relationships, whatever. It's an awesome, awesome thing. All right, I'm ready for my next caller, which is area code 650. Hi, Melissa. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Absolutely. Zara. Zara, how can I help you today? Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering what you see around um, my home. It's on the market, and I am really looking forward to getting an offer and, you know, Moving on. <laughs> so what do you see around this? Mm. Okay. So the first thing I saw around your house um, was this energy. Ha- has it been on the market long? Well, it's about six weeks now, and I was really, really hopeful. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a lovely home, and I'm just wondering. I did reduce the price a little bit, and uh, just wondering what you see around this. Because there's been interest, but no one has actually pulled it, you know, made the uh, – offer uh-huh well i get that people are looking at it and people are seeing um right now as we're talking it's almost like there's this energy field in front of the driveway um it's weird because it's almost like in front of the mailbox <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a screen um actually and we're as we're talking they're clearing that out right now because it's almost like it can't be seen or energetically it's not vibrating i'm not even sure how to um put into words what I'm feeling right now, but they're, they're removing whatever that is. Do you feel energetically, do you feel things at your house? No, um, no, I, it's very peaceful. Very peaceful. Well, it's at the street. It's not like at your house. It's like at the street. Like if I'm looking at the street and there's the mm-hmm. mailbox out at the street, what's out there? The mailbox is actually not on the street. It, it's by the front door. Okay. But it faces the street. Not quite. Okay. All right. Well, in the front of the house, what is in front of the house? In at the street level. If I'm looking at, if I'm standing in in the street looking at your house, there's a couple of trees. There's a couple of trees, really, like um, in front of it. Okay. Um, they would like you to go put a crystal in that tree, like a uh, rose quartz or something. That's a little hard. Branches you don't have to up. do it today. Yeah. It doesn't have to be done today because energetically they're filling that spot with love because I feel like it's a little garden. Um, but energetically it was stopping people from being interested in the house for whatever reason. Even though it's cute, I feel like it's really cute. Um, but energetically they lifted that screen that was in the way. So I feel like you're going to have from some free sailing with that now. Um, you'll get some Good. more showing. Um, do you so, not live near there? No, I no. I'm actually living on still. I'm still living in the home, and um, oh, there was okay. this one. There was one lady who really, really liked it. She really, really liked it, and I think price um, just sort of prevented her from making an offer. 
and we did lower the price. And I'm wondering whether she'll come back or someone else will, um, you know, make the offer. Um, I'm getting it's going to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. Someone else is going to come make the offer. And I feel like it's another six weeks out because I feel like, what are we in May? We're getting real near holidays. So, yeah, I feel like sometime in June-ish. You should have an offer another six weeks no, from now. So I can't that wait that long. Like, I can't wait that long. All right. I'm well, just gonna... you can, I'm sorry. I can't make it happen any faster. That's just what they're seeing, and that's what they're telling me. But this will actually help you overcome any difficulties that you're having. So believe that it will happen faster. Don't have fear no, attached I... to it because I feel like fear is no. going on to it a little bit. But see it as a wide-open door and people just flowing in and loving your house and wanting to buy it. Like, And maybe they're yeah. actually they're saying – once you, it's almost like the, once I just said that and my arms went way out, once you open that up, it's like all these people start flooding in and noticing it. Oh, more. I did. No, I've been very positive. In fact, I called you a few Perfect. weeks ago and you actually had, um, you were very, very, you said, oh, you feel heat and you felt like something was going to come very soon. And now I'm getting six weeks, so I'm a little confused. Like, I'm well, not sure yeah, why. Well, yeah, time fluctuates. And one thing about spirit is when they give us time, it, it really doesn't matter because time is really an illusion to us. Time is only our human self. And that's not, I, I shouldn't even give out times and dates anymore because half the time they don't even work anyways. Because I could say yeah. April and it could be April of 2020, yeah. not April that's of why. this year. You yeah, know what I mean? So really, it's like all on just, their time. No, exactly. But just know everything's yeah. going to work out for yeah. your highest and best for sure. Right. Absolutely. I was just, yeah, I just, it's just sort of confused because when I did speak to you earlier, you had a very good positive feeling and now it seems like it's more negative and, and I don't, I well, don't understand it. Anyway, me that it's pro- fine. But they show, me, it's just, they show me that prosperity is coming for you. So you just have to keep the faith. Just keep I the faith. I do. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. You're Bye-bye. welcome. Absolutely. Take care. Have a great day. Back. Hey, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I went and hit the wrong button on my phone and hung up on all of you. Haha, <laughs> too funny. Um, yeah. Here's the thing about giving times when you're psychic and medium or anybody. Time is really an illusion to us, you know, especially on the other side. Time time is they can make it whatever they want. So, you know, I hate to disappoint people with that. So I will stop telling, you know, time frames and stuff like that because um, they don't always work out to the best. And it's not because I don't know and they don't know, but it also has to do with how people are going to start thinking about things. What are you, what are you going to change that's differently um, about what you're thinking, about what you want to do? You know what I mean? Because we can shift things in a matter of a moment all the time, which is so amazing also, you know what I mean, that we have those abilities to, to do that. So it's a lot of fun, you know. So I'm going to take my next caller, which is area code 404. Hello? Hi there. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Oh, great. And your name is? I'm sorry, say it again. Your name? Oh, Ashia. Hi there. How can I help you today? What's your question for me today? Um, my question is, um, what do you see about my job? Um, you see me getting another. What, what, you see me getting another job, or like, well, I got fired today. So, but my manager didn't tell me. Somebody else did. So I'm not sure. And I'm on you my way to corporate. You just got fired to today. See. I'm a little confused. Hold on. You just got fired today. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then that that's means you're moving on to a new job for sure. <laughs> um, I don't mean to laugh, but it's funny how the universe kind of throws things at us. Um, <clears throat> so do you, did, did you like your job there? No, not really. Okay, so then this worked out for the benefit of you, okay? So this is perfect for everybody. You didn't like the job. They didn't want you there. So now it's opening yourself up. Um, do you already have a resume? Yes, I do. 
Okay, well, I'm getting that it's time to start sending it out to the jobs that you would really like to have. Okay. Okay. So, and I feel like, it, I don't feel like it's a far off for you to get a new job because you're going to be putting the pedal to the metal they're showing me about putting out this resume. So it's about connecting with the right people that you want to work for. Okay. And this is actually uh, a blessing in disguise, even though it doesn't feel like it. I need something that I can relate to because I'm not, I'm not really understanding. Okay. All right. What are you? So they're yeah. showing me. No worries. I'll, I'll start again. So what they want yes, me to, they're showing me is like your resume, and they're showing me you sitting at a computer, okay? And they see me you applying for jobs. Like I see you sitting at the computer for like a whole day just sending out your resume. Oh, that looks like it'd be fun. That looks like it'd be fun. I'll try that. I'll try that. I don't know anything about that, but I'll try that. So they're showing me that you're going to be applying for this new position that you're looking for and that you are going to be able to get it very soon, okay? But they're wanting you to change this. And they're also saying that this was a blessing in disguise so that you could change jobs because it wasn't making you happy anyway. And they don't want you to just settle for any job. They want you to do something that you enjoy doing, you know. So you enjoy working with people, I feel like. So make sure you're doing that or whatever it is. I feel like you need to be doing more of what it is that you enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. Now, does that well, make sense? Yeah, I mean, like, because I'm on my way to corporate. Do they tell you, like, why I got fired or anything? Right. Well, yeah, you need to go put in your grievances at corporate. That's a good thing because um, you're also shedding light. I This is what I feel. I feel like you're also shedding light on things that are going on there. So, But it's not the job for you because of the people that work there, but it's about you going in and speaking your truth to these people right now. Mm-hmm. Well, like, would anything be done to my manager? Well, I have a, see, I have a procedure tomorrow, but I have cancer, so I'm, I'm having a procedure they cut the tumors off my liver tomorrow. Oh, my. And she knows everything that's going on, so I don't know why she did it like that. Because I tried to call her to see, you know, what was going on. She didn't answer the phone or called me. So wow. So I'm like lost. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. And the wow. job that's, was that's... stressful, though. Like, the job there. was stressful. But, she was making yeah, it stressful. But that... A lot of people want to quit. Well, yeah, I feel like you, yeah, you definitely need to go talk to corporate about that because that's not cool. (laughs) That is definitely not cool. Yeah, it's about you taking your power back by you going and doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's also about you speaking your truth while you're there because that's going to empower you. Mm -hmm. So you've got all the power you need to walk in there and do everything you need to do. And I feel like you're Mm -hmm. almost going to get your job back, which is kind of weird, um, even though you don't want it. Okay, because, you know, it's like we can go to different sites. And I've been trying to get her to transfer me to another site, but she just wouldn't. Because, like, it's a security company, and I was just watching right. TV, and they have, like, different sites all over where I'm at. But she would never transfer me. So maybe you oh, see yeah. them transfer me to another site. That would that would be great because I don't see you working with the same people, but, yeah, they definitely should transfer you, especially if you've asked for it. You should always go above any manager's head if they're not listening to you. Go to their manager or whatever, you know, because mm-hmm. people try to keep control, and that's what I felt like this lady was doing. So you're doing the right thing by going to corporate and telling them your side of the story for sure. Right. Okay. So do you see them transfer me or just get I, fired? I just, said, I just said that I feel like you're getting your job back. So, yeah, I think they will transfer you. Oh, my mind is going everywhere with the surgery tomorrow and everything. So, you know, I know, uh, and that's one of the reasons yeah. why I, I feel like this was a big test for you. Would you just let it go, or will you stand your ground even with you having surgery tomorrow? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, because that's kind of rude, especially to let when it your go. boss knows you're going out. Um, uh, what was that? I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. What did you say? Oh, that's all right. I, once I said it, I lost it, so it'll have to come back to me again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, and see, my mom told me to just let it go. 
And I was like, no, they can't keep doing people like that. I'm not going to just let yeah. them go. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's, it, it was about you getting your power back by you going in mm-hmm. and going to corporate and telling them what happened because it's not right, um, especially if they know you're going out the day, you know, the next day to have surgery on whatever. Um, to fire you the day before is quite rude because um, they could have done it any other way. <laughs> Yeah, true, true. And see, I've been coming in, working overtime for her. People call out on her, be late, and I'm the one that's been working for her. Like over. So then you, you point her. all of that out, and good luck with your your mm-hmm. inform- your appointment at corporate right now, and very much good luck with your surgery tomorrow, and mm-hmm. and happy healing. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Enjoy. Awesome. All right. Thank have a good one. You too. Thank you. How much fun, you know, that we're starting to have to stand in our truth against other people. Um, One of the things that we used to do is just let things go all the time, you know. Um, I don't do that so much anymore either. I'm starting to stand in my truth now more too. And we're all starting to do that a lot more, you know. So it's like, what are we going to do to start standing on our truth? If we feel like someone's done us wrong, like this lady right here, I think she was totally done wrong um, to be fired the day before surgery, no matter what their corporate rules are. Um, Plus, you know, I feel like there was power play. So it's good for her to go speak that, you know, and I do the same thing when I'm talking to other people. If I don't completely understand what they're trying to say to me or what point they're trying to get it all across to me now, I ask them to specify. I'm like, can you please explain that to me so that I can understand the point that you're trying to really get to me rather than, you know, either trying to put me down or push me off so that, you know, I don't interfere or ask more questions because sometimes it makes people uncomfortable um, when we start to stand in our truth and we ask them to start standing in theirs. You know, because I have people, you know, I had this one lady um, that I needed to talk to, and I texted her on a Thursday, and I didn't hear back from her on a Sunday. And when I finally heard from her on Sunday, I was like, you know, how am I supposed to set things up if you don't want to get back to me? How is our communication going to work? So that was my, that was how I brought things on. How are, how is our communication going to work if this is one of the ways you want me to communicate, but you don't communicate back? Um, am I not worthy of that communication? Are you just blowing me off? What is it? So, you know, and it's what she told me is I'll try better because some people aren't always good about answering their texts or answering their phone calls. But it was something I had to say, at, what can we do to make this better so our communication works better for all of us? you know, so that none of us are feeling uncomfortable or whatever might be happening, you know. So it's about us really, you know, finding out what our truth is, and each one of us are finding that out on a daily basis. Um, And it's an amazing thing as we find these things out about ourselves and we start to stand in that power and we start to, you know, have normal conversations with people because even me as a child, I remember, you know, my father asking me questions and he'd be very authoritative, you know, if you can imagine, a, you know, an old strict man. And, and I would just be like, he'd ask me questions and I'd be like, I don't know. And I would cry. And that would pretty much how I would answer all my questions. Like I didn't know how to answer him. I didn't know how to say what was on me. And I know sometimes I still have that with other people. I'm like, Oh, I get stumped. Maybe what's the right way for me to say that or to explain what I'm feeling today. Um, So, you know, start sharing what you're feeling with people, you know, whether it's your loved ones, your friends, you know, and if the communication is not working out, sit down. Sometimes you have to have that blow up fight, you know, we need better communication. This is not working. We're, you know, we're fighting against each other when we should all be working for each other and you know, with each other. That's the amazing part of all this is that us all coming together and really working together and making such a better place for us all to live and to be and to work, you know, because we all still have to work. So that's why it's important that we create jobs that we love, okay, whether it's already something you're doing or it's a variation of what you want to be doing. Start doing more things with joy, whether it's going to the beach, if you want to go shopping, if you want to do nothing but watch Netflix that day, allow yourself to do that. Again, the energies of the full moon are kicking because, you know, it's going to be a blue full moon, I think I read somewhere, and all these emotions are coming up. So allow yourself to have that cry if you need to still release them. Um, I'll be crying with you because I feel like there's a little bit more that I need to release too. We all have something we need to release somewhere. So it's about releasing, you know. Um, 
and, and allowing for us to really be our highest and best selves. And we're all working at that. You know, I hate to use that word because working means we're always working at it, but we're doing it. Every day we're doing being better selves for ourselves. We're giving ourselves more self-love. We're standing in our power. We're standing in, excuse me, we're standing in our truth. There's so much joy and excitement to be had, even with all the chaos that's going on around us. So find your slice of peace, whether it's inside your house, you know, a meditation group, whatever, yoga, whatever is going to make you feel good. I say stretch your heart out there and start finding some like-minded people that you all can get together with, start discussing these things with, start having more fun with each other, finding more of who your tribe is. I know I keep finding more and more of my tribe, which is awesome. They don't all stay here. Some I have all the way across the other side of the world. I met one last week in Canada. You know what I mean? So part of my tribe is all over the place, but it's about us connecting. It's about us sharing. It's about us being love and sharing that love. It's about non-judgment. It's about us being who we were really meant to be, our soul self. And that's something that we're, un- we're, un- we're discovering every day. We're uncovering more and more of ourselves every day by doing that. And like I said earlier, you know, every day I feel a little different. Um, Whether I might feel like I'm standing a little taller, I might feel a little lighter, or something that bothered me yesterday is not bothering me today. You know, we're all shifting and changing in so many different ways right now. Just allow yourself to go through the changes. Don't hold yourself, you know, Don't get mad at yourself for anything right now. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Sometimes that's our hardest lesson because we like to hold on to those emotions because we're human. But just because we're human doesn't mean we have to hold on to those emotions. I say that we all embrace the feeling of love. We start vibrating that and start vibrating that out of our pores into everything that we do, everywhere that we go, every person that we see. Shoot them a smile because you never know. You just never know where people are coming from. So be the light, be your light, allow your light to shine for others. If they're having a bad day, you know, we have responsibilities for ourselves and for others, but first for ourselves, you know, we have to learn to really take care of ourselves. So if you're not yet start doing it more. And if you are great, Start allowing other people to ask you questions about what you're doing for yourself so you can help them. Uh, More people are starting to awaken. More people are starting to recognize that things were not as they seemed, you know. So be there. Be support. Be the light. Be whatever you need to be for the person next to you, but be for you first, okay? And that's not a selfish thing, and that's not coming from an ego. We as women... I say this because I am a woman. We're all about taking care of everybody else first and ourselves last. We need to learn to take care of ourselves first so we can stick around for the long run to help take care of everybody else in that long run. So that's a lot of fun. So it's been a pleasure talking to you all this week. It's always such a joy for me. I never know what I'm going to talk about when I log on. Um, My spirit and my energy and my guides, they just take away and start chit-chatting. So don't forget that you can reach me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You can find me on my phone number or reach me through my phone number at 941-266-9250. And if you're on Facebook, you can find my business page, Melissa Parks Psychic, on there also if you'd like to follow that. You know, and just have a very joyful week. Enjoy this beautiful full moon that's coming up and allow your emotions to just let go so you can be released. It's about moving beyond this full moon as your new authentic self, whoever that is. And I wish you all the best of luck and love and joyful times in the week ahead. And I will see you all next Wednesday at noon. Bye-bye, all.